Hello, my name's Tragic O'Hara and today I am screen printing t-shirts. I'm not, I'm not making t-shirts. The Tragic Tombola was a raging success. It worked extremely well. It worked a lot better than I thought it was going to work. And I'm not doing the Tragic Tombola anymore because I'm doing all dusty. These mystery boxes, like that's what I'm doing. This is the one for the book and that is the one of one walrus. The Tragic Tombola was a raging success and it's basically given me enough money to set up my own screen printing kind of operation. Just a low key kind of thing. So a while ago, I done a limited edition t-shirt. I think I called it Sellout. I did. I did do a t-shirt called Sellout. Yeah. Um, I'll need to see if I can find it to show you. <laughs> That's it there. I did buy one, but I couldn't find it. I think maybe someone stole it off my washing line. I sold 17 of these and I made... £82.50. But my original idea was to use that money to get into screen printing, but then life happened and I had to spend that on things like food and rent and stuff like that, right? And the, the, the tragic tombola for the MF Doom portrait, like that made a lot more than the than the other press run did. I feel like Carol Vorderman, right? 113 tickets which equated to £339 selling those tickets for the MF Doom thing. I didn't think I was going to make anywhere near that, right? So I used that money to buy all the stuff, like I bought this screen printing rig for like three colours of ink. I think I bought like 40 t-shirts. Abbey Print uh, in, the, in Cowinning, where I'm from, they done me a, they done me a screen. Out of the goodness of their own hearts, they made me a screen. I borrowed a, a flash dryer and I bought the squeegee. Everything I needed. So the stuff arrived, like, I, and I and I gave it a go. Like, um, the hardest thing was trying to get the the actual, I don't know, you call it the rig, the actual screen printing thing going. That was the that was the hardest thing about the whole saga, about the whole story. So I'm trying to put this screen printing thing together. Opened up the whole box and all that, right? And this is this is what I'm met with, okay? Just loads of bits, right? Look at all them. All that sort of stuff. I'm supposed to be able to put that together, okay? Easily enough, using using that. That's all I get. That's all I've got. That tiny, look at, look at the size of that. That tiny diagram is to make that thing there. It surely, it's not just me that, do you know what I mean? Like, how is that instructions? <laughs> Look, you've got mainframe, mainframe one, two, and three. It doesn't even hit him. Tool. You got a plant and screw, two plant and screws, and a tool. What the f Honest to God, man. I thought this was going to take me 10 minutes. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be as hard as, <laughs> as what it was. <laughs> so. Right, I've been trying to get this thing bottom. It's, I've jammed like bits of wood in and stuff. I think I've got it. No, I don't. No, I don't got it. Got it. I've been trying to do it in between working on some other stuff. I've been uh, making a, a workshop on my book that I'm writing, my practical guide to walrus chasing. So I've been looking through old photographs. Check that guy out. Look at him. Hey. Got these spots. <laughs> so I'm going to take this one home and wash it to see if it works properly, like to make sure it like stays with it. So that was one of the first t-shirts I made, like the, some of the bits aren't quite, they aren't quite right. So I just stapled on a canvas and now it's, now it's art. I've been wanting to do t-shirts for a while, but it's, I wanted to make them myself. And then after a, quite a bit of farting about with a screen printing rig, thinking, about it. Well, I had lots of time to think about it because I couldn't do it. I couldn't get the, everything to work. Like, I was trying it and everything was... It just wasn't right. I, I, I wish I had footage of me trying to do that screen printing stuff. It was that much of a hassle. Even putting on a camera was just too much. I swore a lot. I was covered in ink. I was sweating because of the flash dryer. It just never worked. But I never filmed any of it. Just trust me. It was, uh, it wasn't good. <laughs> then I thought about the t-shirts, the what? But then I thought about why, why am I making t-shirts? The reason I'm making t-shirts is because when I wrote that job description and all that stuff, like I figured out that my, the currency I want to focus on is time. It's not money, right? Like I want more time to chase 
the walrus, that's it, that's what I want to do. Um, it's not about the money, right? But I need money to trade for time. Like the more money I'm making when I'm not working for someone else, I suppose, like, like I'm still trying to figure it out, but the, the more financial freedom I've got, the more time I've got to chase the walrus. That's basically it. So when I kind of started thinking about like, why am I making t-shirts? To be able to sell them so I can achieve financial independence. Like that's it. Like, so that I am not taking on so many commissions that aren't in the, or taking on so many jobs that aren't in this thing that I want to do now. And that's it. And selling t-shirts and selling stuff like that and making my own stuff and thinking it's all part of the why. Do you know what I mean? Because the why is to chase this walrus. So me making the t-shirts is secondary. I'm just so used to trying to do everything by myself. Which is my own fault that I, re I realised that I shouldn't be doing that. So I was on Panda's podcast. So for episode three, my guest today is Tragic O'Hara. Hello. Uh, about a month ago, and after we had our conversation, I asked him who he uses for t-shirts. Uh, and he said, House of Pistard. So that's what I've done. I, I got in contact with Xander at House of Pistard and I asked how much for a run of t-shirts, sort of thing. If I had done that in the first place, I would have saved myself a lot of hassle because now I'm stuck, well, I've got a load of ink and breaks of t-shirts and stuff that I kind of need to figure out what am I going to do with this? Like I've got a screen printing rig that I don't know how to use. And that is where they now live. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure I'll figure something out, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not the worst thing to have lying about the place. But if I sell all these, that's how much I make. I don't think I'm going to sell them all in one go, right? I don't think I will. And I sold them all. I, I sold the majority of them on my mailing list and they, they were all gone. That's it, they're all gone. Like, I couldn't, I, and I'm over the moon with it, right? <laughs> like, but then I didn't film anything else. Like I wasn't expecting to, to sell them all. So when I did, I was just like, I need to get these out the door because like I was going on holiday that week. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And like it's the middle of the summer, the kids are off, like I'm trying to just do that thing then now. I went on holiday and I never, I, like I never filmed any of it. I packaged them all up in like these purple envelopes and stuff. I wrote everyone a note to say thank you. I never filmed any of it. Took them on holiday with me and then posted them in Dumfries. We'd went camping. So like I posted them from there, which is weird because there was ones that were like three minutes from my house <laughs> and I was posting them from Dumfries. I never filmed, I never filmed any of it. But I did make a, I did make a friend. Hey, a ball. So that was literally the only thing I filmed. Like I never filmed anything else. I, I just switched my brain off to the whole walrus chasing thing for a while because, well, I think I needed to. So I filmed that frog. I never filmed anything else. <laughs> Which is annoying because like it was a tiny, it was a village we were in, I can't, I don't, I can't remember the name of it now. I drove in 20 t-shirts individually wrapped into a post office in this wee village. I was there for like 45 minutes, there was a pure queue of folk behind me and I remember thinking to myself, I should have filmed this, this is pretty pretty funny, do you know what I mean? But I didn't, all I filmed was that frog. T-shirts are now on sale, that's them here. I'm not selling them out of mystery box, I'm selling them out of this box. £15 plus postage and packaging, international shipping available. Sign up to my mailing list, get me on all the socials at Mr Tragic O'Hara. If you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing to my channel and feed the algorithm. And next time... Don't know.